Today, I want to talk about pasta. Pasta or pasta? I guess they're both right. No, not quite yet. Roll intro. Good day, everyone. My name is Peter, and welcome to the IDIY Kitchen, where we cook easy meals for busy parents. Today, I want to show you a pasta dish to make for your family tonight, and hopefully have some leftovers for lunch, because as with a lot of pasta dishes, they can taste better after a couple of days. This one is a sausage pasta, but you can substitute the sausage for chicken, or don't put any meat in at all. Now, after culinary school, I was a chef in a big hotel just outside London, and we never measured or weighed anything. It was always done with the eye, so you don't have to be exact. Use your own judgment. Also, if you love mushrooms, put more in. If you don't like mushrooms, well, substitute it for something else or don't use them. Okay, here's the ingredients. Eight ounces of pasta. Really doesn't matter what shape, but I wouldn't use spaghetti. Of course, you can substitute this for lentil pasta if you want to be a little bit more healthy. Lentil pasta is a favorite in our house. 12 ounces or about four sausages, hot, mild, whatever you like. These are mild Italian. An onion, fresh garlic. If you're in a hurry or don't have it, use powdered. 12 ounces of mushrooms. A head of broccolini or broccoli. I like broccolini as it has four times more vitamin A than broccoli, but it's hard to find and costs a lot more. So today we're gonna to use broccoli. 28 ounces of diced tomatoes, which is about two cans. Not a two can, that's a bird. You don't find that in the supermarket. 24 ounces of pasta sauce, which is about one jar. Last, spring onions and Parmesan cheese for garnish. Right, first we need to cook the pasta. I shouldn't have to tell you how to do this. All I'd say is let's undercook it by about two minutes because I want it to soak in the sauce later on. While that's cooking, let's prepare the rest of the ingredients. First, chop the onion. Of course, first thing you need to do, sharpen your knife. Always sharpen your knife. Sharp knife is gonna be safer because you're gonna have to put less pressure on the food. Try and get in the habit of practicing your knife skills. It will save you a lot of time in the future. I use what's called a pinch grip. I hold half the blade and half the handle. It's gonna feel weird at first, but just practice, practice, practice. We just wanna rough cut these onions, nothing special. You can use a chopping motion, or you can do slicing motion, like this. Rough cut, that's all we need, just rough. those back on here. Take this bit off. Okay, we'll use those later. Okay, mushrooms. Same thing. Rough cut. I'm going to put these back. Okay, let's do the spring onions. These have already been washed. These can be used for the garnish. They smell fantastic. Okay, good. Put those back in here. Now let's cut the sausages. Just 
just want to cut, cut them into uh, small chunks. Okay, beautiful. Ready to use later. Let's wash my knife. Okay, now let's prepare the broccoli. I want to chop this into small florets and then you can either steam it or put it in the microwave. Right, I think we're ready to cook. Let's do it. Okay, here we go with the cooking. First thing to do, heat your pan. Don't put your fats in, your butter or your olive oil because we want the pan to heat up first. I'm using this little cooking stove right now because you get a better angle on all the food so you can see it better. Otherwise I'd use the stove behind me. But let's try this, see how it works. All right, I think that's warmed up enough. Let's find the olive oil. It's behind you. Pour that in. Okay, you can see the pan's hot already. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is to cook the sausage. Yep, see it's sizzling. It's always a good sign. Let's put that in. Okay. Let's move that around a little bit. Mmm, you're already starting to smell great. Okay. We need to turn it down. Okay, as you can see, it's already getting nice and brown and noisy. No, be ready soon. Okay, keep that going. I think we'll cook this for about three minutes. I want to cook it all the way through. Okay, at this point I want to add the onions. Some people like to take the sausage out now and put it on a plate. I like to put the onions in and let all the ingredients kind of blend together. We're going to wait to put the garlic in a little later because that will burn a lot quicker than the onions. Okay, at this point the onions are starting to get a little translucent. It smells amazing, so let's put the garlic in. Oh yeah, wonderful. Really starting to come alive. Okay, now I want to put the mushrooms in. We love, love mushrooms in this house. Uh, we probably want to cook this for another like three, four minutes. Yeah. Okay, let's add the broccoli. Okay, add some colour. Dish is starting to come alive. This broccoli is already cooked. Of course, I had it in the microwave for three minutes. Blend in there beautifully. Okay, don't really need to cook that. 
start putting our sauces in. Okay, two cans of tomato sauce. This will add a lot of flavor. Nice. Your kids are gonna love it. Everyone loves sausage. This is a way of getting some vegetables inside them as well. Okay, it's looking good. Okay, now we want the pasta sauce. Beautiful. Okay, let's try and mix that around. Okay, so we've moved over to the big stove so I can get a little bit more heat in here. Reduce it down. It's good, and now I'm gonna add the pasta. Okay, beautiful. Missed the piece. Okay, stir that in. Can't have sausage pasta without pasta. that up and be smelling wonderful. Okay. Now what we want to do is let this reduce down and get the flavor into the pasta. The pasta was slightly undercooked al dente so we want to cook that out. Don't be afraid to add a little water or chicken stock in this if you think it's a little thick. Okay, and we'll let that cook out. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. Let me do a little seasoning. Salt. Pepper. Okay. Smells absolutely delicious. Okay. Of course, it's a little taste of that sauce. Lovely. Okay, let's serve it up. Okay, here we go. Beautiful. Smells unbelievable. Rich sauce. Of course, presentation. We need Parmesan cheese. Plenty, of course. And spring onions. You get the texture, the raw texture in there with the cooked. It's beautiful. Okay, there we go. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.